In this video, I'm going to show you the best features of GitHub Copilot. This is Coding with Adam, and let's check out those features. The first feature we're going to check out from GitHub Copilot is real-time suggestions. As we start to type our code, it's going to give us ghost text. That ghost text will appear as gray text. If you put your mouse over it, you can go ahead and cycle through the different options, or you can go ahead and click on accept over here, or use the tab on your keyboard. You can even accept one word at a time. We're going to go ahead and accept this suggestion. As we move from one line of code to the next, it even predicts the next piece of code that I need. In this particular example, it's something called the context, and the context is used to draw to the canvas. Real-time suggestions can even create complete functions for you. For example, let's say that we want to draw a circle. When we type the text to draw a circle, it gives us a ghost text once again. We can then cycle through the options over here. We're given two options, or we can click on the three dots over here and open the completions panel. You can also access that by pressing control and enter both on Windows and on Mac. And then we can scroll through the suggestions. And in this particular window over here, you can see we have even more suggestions to pick from. So let's go ahead and accept one of these suggestions and it fills the code in for us. The other thing you'll notice is that it's aware of all the code in the file and even uses the CTX that we created on a previous line within this function. The next feature that we're going to check out is the inline chat. Anytime you create a brand new file, you're going to be presented with this text over here. And for your particular operating system, it's going to let you know which keyboard shortcut you can use to open the inline chat. On a Mac, I can just use Command and I. When we press our shortcut, it's going to open the inline chat. From there, we can ask Copilot to do something or execute one of its commands. We're going to ask it to please create math functions for add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Being polite is isn't a requirement, but you can if you want. We'll go ahead and hit enter. When we hit enter, GitHub Copilot's going to generate the code for us. It's generated all of these functions and we can choose to either accept or discard it. If we accept, we'll have those functions in our file. We can even use the inline chat to modify the code. For example, I can go ahead and highlight all the code and ask it to add export to all functions. After it's made the changes, we can go ahead and review them and accept them if we like them. With the inline chat, we can also highlight a function or a block of code and modify it. In this particular example, we're going to ask it to use better names for the parameters. When we do that, it's going to go ahead and change the AB to num1 and num2. We can go ahead and accept that. Another awesome feature of the inline chat is that we're able to use our voice to change code by clicking on the microphone icon. Remove all comments. After you say the command and you stop talking, it executes the command. And as you can see, it removed all comments. We can go ahead and accept that. The next amazing feature of GitHub Copilot is that it can generate tests for us. I've created a file ahead of time called calculatortest.js, and this file is empty. Within the calculator.js, you can either select all the functions or in between the functions, open up the inline chat, type slash tests, and we'll give it a bit of extra information to use ES6 imports and to not use describe. We'll hit enter. Then it's going to go ahead and create our tests for us. It's going to give us this diff between what was inside the calculator test.js before and after. As you can see, it's using the ES6 imports and there are no describes around our tests. When we accept that, we can go ahead and open our calculator test.js and we'll find all of our tests over here. We can then go ahead and execute our test to make sure that they pass. And as you can see, all the tests that were created by GitHub Copilot are passing. Another cool feature of GitHub Copilot is that it can generate documentation for you. Within this file over here, we're going to go ahead and execute the doc command. By typing slash doc, it's going to generate the documentation for this file. Now we can see on every single function over here, we have proper documentation, which even includes the error case in our divide function. Another awesome feature of GitHub Copilot is that it can fix errors in your code. Let's add an error on purpose to our divide function. We're going to say b is equal to zero. Then we're going to ask GitHub Copilot 
to fix this function. We'll bring up the inline chat and we're going to execute the fix command. It'll analyze the code and then determine that we should be checking for equality versus assigning the value to zero. We can see that it's found the error and corrected it and we can go ahead and accept that change. Next, we're going to check out the explain command. The explain command is used to understand a code by highlighting a code block or a function. We can ask GitHub Copilot to explain the code. We simply just execute slash explain, hit enter, and then it leads us into our next feature called the chat panel. From here, it's going to give us a detailed explanation of the code that we highlighted. Within this chat panel, we can go ahead and have a back and forth with GitHub Copilot. We can ask it questions just like you would with OpenAI's chat GBT. For example, we could go ahead and ask it to explain the export function in a simpler way. So we'll ask it, can you provide a simpler explanation of export for beginner developer. And when we do that, it's going to give us a more detailed explanation of export. The Copilot chat panel is a powerful feature that allows you to ask questions right within VS Code. You don't have to go to Google or Stack Overflow to find the answer. You can ask right within Copilot. One thing to keep in mind with the Copilot chat is that you can only ask it programming related questions. If you ask it a question that's not programming related, like asking it to name all 50 states in the United States, it'll let you know that it can only assist you with programming questions. However, if you reword your question to be more programming related, you can sometimes get the answer that you're looking for. For example, I asked it to put all 50 states in an array and now I have the answer to what all the 50 states are in the United States. Next, we'll take a look at how we can generate commit messages using GitHub Copilot. So let's say for this project that I just want to check in one of my files. Now, anywhere that you see these sparkles, that means you can click it and GitHub Copilot can do something. So in this particular instance over here, when we click the sparkles, it's going to go ahead and generate a commit message for the code that I am committing. Now that it's helped us generate our commit message, we've noticed that we have 4,000 files in our project that need to be committed. Well, naturally, we know the problem is our node modules over here. So we're going to ask the chat, how do we generate a git ignore? GitHub Copilot will then give us the instructions that we need to create the ignore file. If we need more information, we can ask it to elaborate on those items. Following the instructions will tell us that we need to create a dot git ignore file. We'll create that in the root of our project. And then we can go back to the chat and the chat gave us an example ignore file. With the dot get ignore file open, we can either go ahead and copy that text or we can go ahead and insert at cursor. Then we can go back to our source control and see that the dot get ignore has solved our issue. The next set of features in VS Code is called agents and you can access agents by typing at within the chat and there's three agents, terminal, VS Code, and workspace. The workspace allows you to ask questions about the code in your project. For example, we can ask where is the best place to put math functions in my code. When we execute that, it's going to go ahead and decide what information to collect, analyze and filter that information, and then come up with an answer to tell you that the best place to put a math function within our code is calculator.js. The next agent that we'll take a look at is VS Code. The VS Code allows you to ask questions about VS Code. For example, we can ask, how do I change the theme? It'll then look at your question, take a look at the documentation, and then tell you how you can change your theme. For example, it'll tell us we can go to Preferences, Color Theme Command, and even give us a button that we can click over here to quickly jump to the themes. Lastly, we have the terminal agent, which can be used to help you write terminal commands. For example, we can ask it, how do you use git to commit all changes? When we ask that question, it's going to go ahead and show us the exact command that we need to execute. It will even let us know that we need to go ahead and fill in the commit message. We can then copy it insert it at the cursor location, or even click this button over here to open the terminal and paste the command in for us. We can then replace the commit message and execute that command. The last feature is to follow the sparkles. For example, there's a sparkle in our commit message over here. Within the code base, you can see the sparkle here, and if I click on it, it brings up GitHub Copilot. And even when I'm highlighting code, it has a sparkle, although it's obscured a little bit behind the light bulb, it is there. And as time goes on, I'm sure we'll find the sparkle icon in even more places within VS Code when you're using GitHub Copilot. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.